Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are playing with glitter. This is new from Models Own. I kind of have it all over my face right now. I'm rocking a pretty intense glitter lip. This is not the first time that I've talked about a glitter lip here on my channel. You guys know I'm a big fan of Tattoo Junkies. I reviewed the Pat McGrath glitter kit for lips when it came out. So I saw this product. I thought the packaging was really cute. I love that it is affordable. And the actual glitter itself, the three options that they have are very unique Colors, so I was drawn to that as well. And let's just look at the package really quick. I just want you guys to see how cute this is. So this is the Celestial Lip Glitter Kit and this is from Models Own. Again, this is more of a drugstore priced brand. They were in the UK until recently over here in the States, they are now in Ulta. So yay, we can buy Models Own in Ulta. And a lot of their stuff is really, really great. They have one of my favorite highlighters. So as we go through all of the pros and cons, again, don't think that I hate this brand. I really don't. But there are a lot of problems with this launch and I'm gonna chat about them. This is hot or not. So let's look at the three kits first for lips. We have the Rose Meteor, we have Moon Dust, and then what I'm wearing right now is Cerise Star. Now, something that's very different from a traditional glitter lip kit like the uh, Tattoo Junkie or Pat McGrath is that this comes with an actual glitter glue for the glitter for your lips. It's not a liquid lip, it's not a lipstick that you put on first, it's an actual glue. This gave me flashbacks of the foiled lip that I did. Uh, this cannot be for real. What the hell? I ordered that from Amazon. I did that like a year ago. Oh my God, that was a nightmare. Trying that product was like ripping hard glue off of my lips. And so when I saw that this was not a liquid lipstick, I was kind of like, oh God, here we go again. But the good news is this does remove with oil quite nicely and it doesn't burn my lips. It doesn't peel off. There's no crazy side effects with this product right here. So what you get is this glitter setting gel and I'm gonna drop in a clip of me applying it from the tube. You don't want to do that. That is the biggest issue I had with this is every time that I just open this puppy up and put it on straight on the lips, I just got too much everywhere. So what I ended up doing for application is using a flat brush and I just kind of glide it on the lip, make sure everything was really, really even and you wait for it to dry a little bit and get kind of tacky before you go in and press the glitter on your lips. They do give you a little, a little of this action. I'm gonna do a Laura Lee and be like, we don't need her. You don't need her. Use your fingers. It's much better. So for today's lip look, I wanted to use the darkest one of the bunch, believe it or not. This is actually the most pigmented one because we have that rosy one and then more of an iridescent kind of see-through one that just, to be honest, looks really strange. So this is the one that I'm wearing. This again is series star number six. And when you open this up, be warned, there's no sifter. It's, you're just, you're going hard. You're going in, you're grabbing the glitter, you're patting it on your lips and it applies really beautifully, really easily. It is extremely gritty. So this type of glitter is not cosmetic glitter. It's not rounded so that you could put it on your eyes. So don't even think about using this as eyeshadow or you're, I will die. You've been warned. Don't do it. Pros and cons. Pros are that this is a very affordable item. I think it started out at $7. And then I recently, you know, right when I was sitting down checking the prices, like double checking, I was like, oh, oh my God, this item went on sale within like a week. It did not stay at full price for more than a second, which always makes me go, oh shoot, people are like hating this. So it was seven, which is already affordable, but now it's like 550. So here's what I wanna say. The glitter glue itself is kind of cool that you could just put this on your lips. And then in my mind, you could use any pigment, you could use any glitter you have on hand, and it would really just adhere to the lips. You could come up with so many different lip looks so I think it's worth a purchase if you're into that kind of a thing. I know we are kind of around the corner of holiday season and Halloween and dressing up and being festive and parties. So a glitter lip can be really, really fun. And I do like this. I like the formula, um, the glitter itself, very chunky. You'll be doing a lot of this, like it can get on your teeth. It just doesn't want to play as nicely as a more finely milled glitter. That's my only gripe, but I still think for five bucks that glitter glue, 
is kind of worth it. It's kind of cool. So those are my thoughts on this little lip kit right here. Um, Tattoo Junkies still is one of the most amazing for glitter lips and that's around six, seven bucks as well. I'll link corresponding videos below and I will do it. Um, okay, so moving on, they do have a face glitter kit as well. Holy smokes, love, hate. A lot of love, hate because you get two glitters in here and the silver one is what I wanted to use, but you open up the jar and it's so intimidating because the glitters are like this big. It's like, how am I gonna stencil with that? You can't stencil with that. Like, it's impossible. So they have this smaller milled one, which is still pretty freaking chunky. And what you get in here is a larger portion of the glitter glue. So my two cents, just buy one of the kit. You don't need to buy both if you're really trying to get a hold of this glitter glue. Um, depending on what you're gonna use it for, like the larger face glitter kit comes with some really cute stencils and they kind of work. We have a star right here. Um, this is my attempt at doing hearts, but it really just looks like I've been spackled with little polka dot glitter. It doesn't really look like hearts at all. So with these stencils, the larger bits are gonna work out great. You literally, where would I even put this? Can you imagine if I just show up just like, I'm here, look at my glitter tattoo. You don't have to just do the face. You could do body glitter tattoos. It's cute, it's fun. So you basically just lay this down flat, you paint on the glitter glue, you wait for it to get tacky, you press in all of that glitter, and then you wait for it to dry, you peel it off, and you have something like this which is cute, I think it's fun. Again, this kit is very affordable as well. The glitter could be more finely milled. I'm not a fan of the glitter itself. That's so weird. I like both of these kits, but I don't like the glitter. But I have a drawer full of glitter, so I'm kind of okay with that. So just use your imagination and you could use this kit with other things you have on hand. All right, we have one more item that I was actually so excited for. The colors, the package, everything about it, you guys. I love unicorns, I love pink. I kind of revert back to just like my younger self and how much I loved Lisa Frank stuff and how much I loved just girly, fun, stationary and whatnot. And I know I'm a grown woman and I probably shouldn't be attracted to this crap, but I just am. Like I still see stuff like this and I'm like, oh, oh. So not the most sophisticated palette, but it's cute. So this is the model's own celestial palette. You have your unicorn right on the front. This is the palette. I love my other model's own eyeshadow palette, so let me start there. I really love my other palettes so, so much. I did a clean out and I kept them and I love them. This is horrible. I think it's already on sale for like 12 bucks. It's not even worth $12, you guys. It's the driest formula I have ever, ever used. It's literally like chunk, like it is just chunk, do you see that? But then the other ones that are not chunky, they're not evenly pigmented. Um, you're not getting that from way back here, but I'm gonna insert swatches and it's just a bad palette. The crappy thing about it is that these colors are actually super pretty, I love them, but the quality just is not there. I tried to make it work. Like this kind of really interesting peachy champagne situation right here, I love this color, like oh my gosh, like I just, that kind of a color, I love that glow and I tried to make it work. Like I remember sitting here at night and like blending it on my eye and I'm like, dude, it is making me look like I have so many crinkly wrinkles on my eyelid, it's exaggerating everything, it's chunky, it's falling on my face. It's just a bad texture. So this is a hard, hard pass. I don't like it. The rest of the glitter situation here, I think is really fun and cute. It's not terribly expensive. And if you are looking to play with glitter this coming fall slash holiday season, then it's worth a look. And then Models Own itself is a wonderful brand. They do have a lot of awesome products. Let me know, should I do a rundown? Like I have a ton of their stuff. I've just never, done a dedicated video on the whole range, but you know there are a lot of items that I do use frequently and love, so let me know in the comment section. Are you curious about this brand or is there another brand out there that is newer that you guys want more information on? Let me know. And there we have it, that's it. I'm gonna be rocking my glitter lips, glitter star. That is it, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this week's Hot or Not and 
I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm so excited. James is gonna be unboxing things with me again. I'm so happy, I love it when he does this with me. So he agreed to join me again. It should be a good time because I saved up a ton of packages. You know, I'd been traveling and they are all lined up and I hope you come back for that. So thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.